What's up guys, it's your boy Zion, and I'm bringing you this video real quick to show you how to solo the second part of the uh, Crota's End Raid. It's going to show you how to solo the bridge. The main thing is this is for a gunslinger hunter. I don't know if this works for a Titan or a Warlock. I haven't had a chance to try it yet. I know the Titan has another way. I'll show you in a later video on how to get across um, besides this technique. So what you want to do is run straight to the center platform and activate it. It'll spawn a bunch of thralls and things and you're going to book it away from them. Make sure you have your agility kind of high or completely maxed out for this so you can just run away and you won't have to deal with anything. So what you're going to do is run up the steps to the left and go ahead and go past two pillars. Now your brightness should be kind of high so you can see what I'm doing but you'll see there's a little crack right in front of me if you don't mess up your jump like I do because I suck at the game. Um, but once you get back onto the platform if you fall don't worry about falling unless you're really high into this or really deep into the video because then you might die but for this don't worry about it and what you want to do is double jump onto this little crack then jump across onto a little ledge it's a little hard to see but if you go ahead and get the jump right you have space then you're gonna look and you see a crack off in the distance you're gonna want to double jump onto that and then just make sure you stay on there and get on top of this little ledge here double jump up onto the Nyx platform it's kinda high so make sure you're really careful and you might die if you fall from that height and then double jump onto this like pillar or whatever that is and then double jump up to this platform it's really not that hard once you get the hang of it and know where you're going so make sure you have your brightness up because if you have this one normal brightness everything's really hard to see so now once you're at this point basically look straight across the bridge and enemies start to spawn and all you have to do is sit here and snipe the entire time um it, it's really fucking simple it took me like 10 minutes to go ahead and kill everything while I was sitting up top sniping make sure you have a decent sniper rifle unfortunately I just upgraded my icebreaker so I have 302 damage on it but it's not like a maxed out sniper so you could definitely be doing more damage plus at the time of doing this video I was only level 29 so it's definitely something you can do under leveled um, you're gonna take a huge damage reduction but you can definitely do it under leveled um, especially since you don't get hit by anything like you are 100% safe as you saw in this video I did not get touched by a single enemy um, the only damage I did was fall damage so what you're gonna do is just sit up here and snipe the entire time up until you see ogre spawn which you should have just seen and once ogres spawn you can go ahead and kill the ogres now the thing is um, you don't have to kill anything before the ogres spawn once you kill the two ogres everything else despawns and you get your checkpoint and your raid gear I had already done this so you're not gonna see me get any gear um, when I did this for the first time I got a chest I believe so I have a raid chest now because of this um, so what what's the key mechanic to this is just getting up to this platform once you're up to this platform you're golden as long as you have like uh, special ammo synths if you don't have an icebreaker or you can just use an icebreaker and uh, just be patient take your time and kill the ogres I like to kill the thralls and everything else because since they're a higher level it gets me uh, weapon experience so my icebreaker which I need to level up I almost got um, its second damage or the icebreaker perk where everything explodes simply by doing this method a couple of times so it's a really good place if you need weapon experience for like snipers and stuff this is an awesome place to get it plus you get fucking raid armor once a week <laughs> so key reasons why you should go ahead and do this now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to solo the next part and go ahead and show you how to do this as a warlock and or titan in the next video so make sure you guys keep an eye out for the future videos if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like a comment a favorite and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys later peace